We are living in the world where everything turns around money and luxury. For most people, money is the first thing and sometimes the only thing that measures success. Money can buy fame. Money can buy power. And the idea of getting power because of having money is an actual problem in our society. Because people grew up with the idea that the more money you have, the more money you want to get. This action creates selfish people who think that all their problems can be solved with the help of money. And now the question, what people actually ready for to get this money? Brazil's Petrobras, one of the world's biggest oil companies in a heap of trouble. The company is in the midst of an escalating corruption scandal. And it's already super legal as we've seen. Thousands of Brazilians moved there to work after it became a symbol of the largest corruption scandal in Brazil's history. But he's lost billions of dollars. From the recent news, one of the biggest corruption scandals was the case of Talgat Yirmigyayev, the former head of the national company Astana Expo 2017 and the former chairman of the agency Sport, Sports and Physical Culture of the Republic of Kazakhstan. He was convicted for embezzling the national company and accepting a bribe on a large scale. Besides Yermiyaev, another 23 people were in the dock, employees and contractors of Asana Expo 2017. Some of them admitted their guilt uh, during the trial, but not Yermiyaev, and as a result, he was convicted to 14 years in prison. Under paragraph 2 of part 4 of article 189, theft of another property on a large scale, as well as part 4 of article 366, taking bribe on a large scale, of the penal code of the Republic of Kazakhstan, a sense served in a strict regime colony. The final verdict was passed on June 9, 2016, and the total damage was estimated of 2 billion, uh, 200 million tingya. The political definition of corruption was given by Aristotle. He called it the sign of tyranny. This is an unexpected parallel for us. However, it's an accurate one. Corruption, indeed, has transformed into a form of tyranny for its scolding and pushing the whole society. Today, present dictionaries define corruption as a form of dishonesty or criminal activity undertaken by a person or organization entrusted with a position of authority, often to acquire illicit benefit. The existence of corruption in a social phenomenon dates back to the custom of making ritual sacrifices and at the time giving presents to priests and leaders in order to gain their favor and support in solving the problems of the suppliant. It's still as important as it was at the time. And therefore, here is the question. Have you ever thought about why this illegal activity appeared and developed? Monopoly of government officials, lack of openness, controllability and accountability, economic decline and political instability, imperfect legislation, inefficiency of government institutions, weak civil society, isolation from power, lack of education of democratic traditions, inability of people to use the existing conditions of democracy, unfair competition, a politically conditioned system of double standards, deficiencies in the protection of property rights, deficiencies in the system of training competent managers and insufficient transparency in the financing of parties and public organizations. But corruption is not only about one particular organization or government party. There are different areas of corruption, such as acts on the privatization of state property, budget execution and budget allocation, banking, lobbying in parliaments, law enforcement agencies and economic crime, housing and utilities, customs, military service, healthcare, education, control and supervisory activities, permissive and licensed area. many causes and areas, it should have no less negative impacts on different spheres of the government. And here we go. An increase in social tension, which in turn threatens political stability in the country. The 
expansion of underground economy resulted in increase in tax revenues to the state's government, the weakening of the budget and social problems. Reduction of trust in the government and growth of government alienation from society, which causes society to threaten any good undertakings of government. Reducing the prestige of the country in the international arena. Changing in human values, replacing them with personal enrichment at the expense of other people's labor. According to Transparency International, Kazakhstan was on the 65th place out of 90 and got 3.0 from the Corruption Perception Index CPI in 2000 year. In 2008, Kazakhstan placed on 145th place out of 180 with CPI equal 2.2. In 2018, it placed on 124th place out of 180 and received a score 31 out of 100. If we look on the map, the territory is red-colored, which means Kazakhstan is in the list of highly corrupted countries with Russia, most of the African countries, China and etc. The bulk of financial irregularities, including inefficiently used budget funds, are fixed in the process of implementing state programs. The anti-record was delivered during the execution of the following state programs. Firstly, Program for the Development of Space Activities for 2010-2014 includes 81.1% of violations of the total amount of budget funds allocated for the implementation of the program. Secondly, the Information Kazakhstan 2020 program includes 46.4% of violations of the total amount of budget funds allocated for the implementation of the program. Thirdly, the Business Roadmap 2020 program includes 32.2% of violations of the total amount of budget funds allocated for the implementation of the program. The total amount of financial irregularities including inefficiently used funds recorded by the Accounts Committee of Kazakhstan during the implementation of state programs for the period from 2013 to 2016 amounted to 6.7 trillion tenge or 2.07 billion US dollars. And here it should be noted that the openness and providing data on the part of the Accounts Committee of Kazakhstan is decreasing every year. If we are talking about Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. uh, so like um, government, like corruption and government, it's all, it's all kind of related. So uh, to solve, like to deal with corruption in government, I think like uh, government has to be open and like transparent. Uh, so like, for example, yeah, uh, I like experience in uh, New Zealand, so they have uh, some um, uh, like uh, legal act or like legal uh, framework when like um, citizens have a like um, they can see uh, what happening with the budgets and at the end they know like uh, what government like uh, actually did like at the end so it's related to like government yeah but in general I think um, it's related to like a brings family, yeah. Like uh, our parents uh, have like has to tell us about like a, cor a corruptcy, or like we can uh, work with the social media, right? Like uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. So like um, uh, we can make some video videos, yeah. Like motivation or showing why the corruption is Management turgoda ait kanda. Corruption, maslow ten theory asvar. Yaraj yarak yovni so motivation yida. So yuzu bunish yeng tuming level motivationing ola bunish yeng shat. Net psychological niti, physiological niti yid. Adamning generally ashing bir yuzning aylga jits piu mukun yida. Sol jits piyeng kisirnin adam osa nige jits. Коррупция Халк Абдин Юринген, Джинг Ляхша Жолна, Советский Езимус, и 
қайлықты өсіргенмен де бұл ә, адамның нені, культурны фундамент, фундаментан өзгеруіне бұл қиыншылық қасы болды. Бұл бірден өзгеру оғамайды. Қазір соң өзер мемлекет қарастыра батыр, не айлықты өсірді. Ә, қазір мысал бұрынғы 100 мүн алатын еді адамдар қазір өз 100 елім 200 мүн үстіне шықты. Қасударсы өргендерді. Ә, мүмкін бұл азайту, азайтадын шар ә, коррупцияны, бірақ әлі уақыт керек қалық әлі дайын емес. Қалық енді әдек бірінші осы ең бірінші айлыққа келіп түрелді. Егіншісі сол культурный фактор. Халық совет кезінен қалып кеткенде культура ә, оны өте өте қиын. Оны сәл бір 10 жылдай уақыт керек деп ойлаймын. Өзі басым солай ойлаймын. So basically we do have some some tools to to fight with the corruption. Uh, so basically first thing is about the institutions. The government should uh, have a strong uh foundation of institutions so basically those institutions will uh if they been been working properly so basically uh that will help uh to reduce the amount of corruption as a, when we talk about institutions that we can say that basically um, the rule of law basically how the, how those institutions follow the so follow the laws Uh, secondly, uh, second argument can be so basically simply uh, increasing the salary and uh, giving the benefits uh, for the uh, for the employees for the, uh, from the government. So benefits of let's say social packages, benefits from the government, uh, kind of let's say uh, insurance. Uh, so simple example can be. Um, So let's say a police officer in America, uh, you will hardly see that they, they are having, uh, they're being corrupted because they, they have a strong support from the government. So basically, the government giving the uh, package for the, not only for the officer, as, as well as for, the, for their family. And at the end, when they retire, they will, get, they will be still getting support from the government. That's why. They don't want to basically sacrifice or risk to take a bribery from someone. That's it. To sum up, corruption now has been one of the biggest challenges faced in the contemporary world. It can be even considered as a slow poison, which kills the constitution, the society and the economy of country. The situation now has become very tense. And unless the general public takes proactive measures and becomes watchful of it, the corruption cannot be eliminated from our society. To deal with corruption, first and foremost, we have to deal with ourselves first. We always accuse the state authorities, the law enforcement agencies of corruption, while never blaming ourselves for playing an active part in the corruption schemes at our own level. If we stop being only bystanders who complain on social media about the non-transparent spending of the governmental resources and learn to question the authorities demanding the transparency and the clarity in solving the problems, if we start exercising our rights as the citizens of this country, maybe we can hope for some good changes. So, to deal with corruption, we have to deal with ourselves first. And as Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. We have to see ourselves and promise that this change will start from us and will follow, practice and spread the path of honesty.